hate me in my DMs. And you're like, oh, word? Could Versus we, saying you wanted we, to break a bottle overhead on the show? Could we see the rape? Could we see the rape DMs though? And they're like, "Well, I don't have any." Let's of let's let's play the Mersh art, the Mersh audio where he will said he wanted to break a bottle over my head. I'm just I'm not disagreeing with no, you. No, but no, I'm I just did. pointing out, but I'm just pointing out that the medium's a little different. But we are doing the same thing. I mean, I get it, and to I understand what you're saying, and not everyone has a show where they have an outlet to make fun of it, so they do it on their own. And let's face it, everybody in this room is guilty of getting fights and calling people cunts on Twitter. I mean, no, of course, yeah. but I'm just pointing. I look. I can point out. By the way, I'm a hypocrite. You're a fucking hypocrite. Yes. Everyone around here is a fucking hypocrite. So my hip, my my hypocrisy is not fucking unique. I'm allowed to have an opinion on something and still like I, I literally just said that. Yes, I'm guilty of it too. In moments of weakness, and I I'm, I'm pointing out that I shouldn't do it either. Is my point. My point is, is that I shouldn't do it either. That none of us should really do it because when you play into this fucking shit, you give them the fucking ammo that they need and they're, they're literally, we are living in the age where white women are perpetually fucking victims and it's because they do cunty white women shit, then we fucking fall for it, we get wrapped into it and we start fucking going after them and then they go, oh my God, I'm." A, it's literally the shit slinging fucking meme where women are th shoveling shit over a wall and then one little tiny piece of shit comes back over the wall and they're like, oh my God, I was raped. Yeah, so you're right. So if we ignore them, the white women are just going to be held behave themselves and not be crazy the problem no, is no i'm not they're, saying they're, but, the, but did i say that or did you just assign that to me did well, you just pull that out no did i'm I saying say I'm, say, I'm saying it in i'm just saying in general even if we ignore them they're going to do it anyway because here's the thing even if we don't give them this like let's say even if we don't give them whatever you want quote unquote you want this you think this ammo is they are still getting reinf other reinforcement from people that agree with them or want to fuck them so they're getting it anyway now my opinion is I don't care if she has a, for, writes a second article. Honestly, you want me to be greedy? Just more content for the show. The more articles these dumb bitches write, the more fun we get to have with them. If they disappeared, they'd go away, and then we would hunt them out of extinction, and then there would be no more bison in the Great Plains. So honestly, I don't care because I like making fun of them, and I like having the bison in the Great Plains. Like, for example, I'm going to keep making Dane, fun of them too. Dane, I, don't, Dane, I don't disagree. Perfect example like Dane Hypernova, right? Dane Hypernova is an annoying fucking just a just unbearable person i never want him to go away you know what i yeah, mean but like, he's a guy no no well <laughs> yeah, kind of but i never want him to go away you understand what i'm saying like to me it's to me it's fun to me i, I find i find it i find it funny because it is fun but then you got to admit that mm -hmm. you're doing it for fun yes. and for a dopamine rush yes and that this woman's going to end up with a GoFundMe with quarter of a million yes. dollars in it because she's a victim yes Okay, I admit then, it, but, but then, I admit it. But then that's but then don't like start arguing with me like I made a point that you're not agreeing with. No, no, I'm no. not saying don't do it. Like you're going to do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do too. I get that I'm being a hypocrite here, but it's 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 for me to have a genuine moment and point out that doing this shit creates more of these fucking women and that they, they, they just fucking keep popping up and we keep fucking funneling money to them and making victims of them. Because we fucking go on there, we have to, we always have to take it the step further, right? Like making fun of them on a show is one thing, or making fun of them in a fucking blog is one thing. But to take it to Twitter and tag them and go, you fucking cunt, and then they screenshot that, and then they go, the alt right's attacking me. This is what happens in Trump's America or whatever. And then they go, I need money. I literally, uh, somebody said they were going to rape me, and you go, well, where's the rape threat? And they go, well, I don't know. So many threats were coming in. I, I didn't get a chance to screenshot it. And then they don't have to prove anything because people can see that they're getting tagged in cunt tweets, and that's all you need. And that's how Anita Sarkeesian is born. <laughs> it's just well, like I, we just keep I, making I, I, these fucking I, I, women. I, I understand that, but the only my, my, my genuine moment, as you put it, is... We have to be realistic, and just because we're doing... My thing is, is that I don't dis differentiate the fact that we're doing it behind a microphone versus doing it on Twitter. We're still doing it. Like, that's my point. Like, whether we're, do whether we're doing it... Whether we're doing it like, like, you know, somebody tagging somebody and calling somebody a loser or subtweeting them or whatever all that shit is, or on Facebook or whatever you want to call it, I don't think that because we're doing it on the show, we're any different. We, we have to own that we're doing the same thing. I didn't because, say we were. No, I'm just, but I'm just giving my opinion. So, like, somebody could still take somebody could still take our audio and go, look, this alt-right show, Revenge of the Sisters, said they want to break a bottle over my head, and then I'm a cunt. And all those things may be true, but it's, it's just, I guess the only difference is it's a little harder to find. 
if we do it on a show, that would really kind of be the only difference. Yeah, but we're not tagging them. Is right. My point. So, so the difference is we're not tagging them. I mean, we're still saying the same thing. And we, you know, they could this this could, for example, if she were to get a hold of this <laughs> segment, you know, for example, she could make her entire article about alt right show comes after me, like. You know, my point is, is that unless you completely ignore them and pretend they don't exist, not, not only on Twitter, but also on shows and also on blogs and just completely ignore them, there really is no way for them to go away. They're not going anywhere, you know, uh, they, because even if they go away on there, everybody knows a person that's not writing an article, but knows a person in their own life and their own family on Facebook that's doing what this woman. I know people that do what this woman does. Well, but, then, but then by that logic, there's just certain things that you go, well, they just are the way they are and we should we should never be cognizant of the fact that we're not helping the situation no we're criticizing that's all i'm pointing it. out like like i i at no point was i like bitching or saying don't do this because i know everybody's going to do what they want anyway i was just making an observation that's all like you like people can say i'm hypocritical it's fine i am a hypocrite anybody calling me a hypocrite is also a hypocrite so it, i'm just point i'm point i pointed out a thing that's a hundred percent correct which is that we make these fucking women into stars by taking it that step further and tagging them on Twitter and s screaming shit at them directly, which is the level that... And by the way, that's not the same as doing it on a show. Doing it on a show is, okay, you wanted to be fucking well-known. You wrote an article. We want to be well-known. We're doing a show. I'm talking about a bunch of fucking eggs and a bunch of spurgs that can't fucking leave it at that and go, yeah, fuck this whore. She's a dumbass. Whatever. They got to take it the extra step, go on Twitter, start fucking yelling, giving them all the ammo they need and giving them everything they need to fleece people out of money. And then they never go away. Then they, then they have a fucking endless fucking war chest and they're standing in front of the UN using terms like cyber rape. And it's just like, fuck, dude. It just sucks. It sucks I know, but I would, I'm just telling you, if I was a listener to this show, I would feel that that comment's arrogance. Like, oh, so you guys can do it, but I can't do it on Twitter. That's how I would take it. Like, if it wasn't if it wasn't Revenge of the Sis, right? If I was just Joe Schmo listening to a show, fan of the show and listening to it, and I heard somebody say, yeah, you know, uh, I could make fun of him because I'm on a show and I'm doing it, but not you guys. You don't have a show. You don't do it because you're making it worse. I would go like, what the fuck? What do you mean I can't do it? I can but do you, it too. No, you can do whatever you want, but mm. don't equate having a show and having a platform that we talk on that people come to, to you tagging some stranger on Twitter and going, you fat bitch. It's not the same thing. To pretend that it is, it's not. It's just not. It, yeah, it would well, be one thing even my, if, my point is it's an outlet. My point is not everyone has the outlet of a show, for example. That's unfortunate. I know. I don't have a Ferrari either, but we get by and we yeah, do our best. That's kind of arrogant. That's my it's, point. It's not it's arrogant. arrogant. It's really not arrogant. How how is saying we're doing a Why show? We're talking about me? a fucking article you because screaming? you're like assigning weird. No, fucking I'm giving to me. my opinion. It's not arrogant to say not to 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 equate having a show and talking about an article that's just mm. out there mm. as opposed to being somebody on Twitter and going, "What's that doctor's name?" At so and so. You fucking cunt! I'll do what I want with well, my how, fucking how, mask. How many have, it's how, not the same the, thing. How, it's it's like saying, "Oh, you have a radio show and you talked about this public figure." Oh well, I fucking sent an email directly to his box and told him that his fucking wife could drop dead or whatever. I, it's not the same thing. I, I I guess I guess my thing is is that the hypocrite part is right. We're hypocrites because again, I have literally seen you do the thing you're describing, and I've done it. By the way, I'm I, not putting I it on you. I prefaced what I I'm said by saying I do it right. too. So my point is, if we're doing it. I, my point is this: like if, like we talk about hypocritical stuff with the news all the time, and we do it all the time, and I think like, if we're doing it and we're going to do it again, I just think I don't want to tell other people not to do something that we're going to do again. Like you know what I mean? It's but like no, that's not because it's like mm -hmm. if I said you know uh, that I you know if I was talking about the you know the fact that drinking too much isn't good for you, and that mm -hmm. if I started be like literally, I'm trying to be fucking introspective here and mm -hmm. point out, wow, maybe we all do things that we shouldn't do and they're shitty, and you're just like doubling down and going we should do shitty things and it's like no calm no, down i'm not. just i'm sitting here trying to intellectually explore the fucking idea of why we do these things and it's like well fuck that bitch we do what we want it's like okay but then at least just be resigned to that but i'm literally sitting here just trying to like it's the same thing if i said gee you know people you know probably shouldn't drink so much it's bad for you you know it leads to bad decisions it leads to health problems and you go but you drink, and it's like, okay, calm down. I'm literally sitting here talking out loud and 
it's saying my feelings out loud so I can explore why it is that we do what we do, not turning it into a fucking, and then every time I'm trying to make a point, you're turning it around and saying like, well, you, gee, gee, you sound arrogant, you sound hypocritical, and it's like, dude, calm down. I'm just pointing out, literally sitting here going, you know, we do these things that we know are counterproductive to getting any sort of things done in life, right? We try to sit here on the right and pretend that we're so much better than these fucking people, but then we run to Twitter and call them cunts. So it's like, I'm okay with that. Let's do what we're doing, but let's also not make any fucking mistake about it that we're any better or be than these fucking people are because I'm literally only brought it up to say, gee, you know, it is, we should, you know, when we look at why we do these things, and I literally said, which trust me, I do it too. And I'm trying to fucking, you know, understand why I do certain things. And, and 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 try to figure out and get to the bottom of why these what 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 possesses me to get dragged into these fucking things uh, on the internet and all this bullshit and it turns into like a oh well gee fucking sounds kind of hypocritical now you sound kind of arrogant oh you can only do it if you have a show I never said any of those things I'm simply saying what possesses all of us to do this sort of thing and it turned into like a gee Mersh is being a cock and it's like. No, it's just an uh, it's an about. honest fucking it's an honest introspective fucking point to make and there's no reason to like turn it into like I'm trying to take the high road. I'm not. I'm just sometimes I have intellectual curiosity. Sometimes we do a thing and I go, "Gee, why why did I do that thing? Let me examine why we have the urge to do these things that in no way fucking help the situation, that are in no way going to help any kind of public discourse, that are in no way going to help people reach a consensus on policy and, 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 and compromise on things. No, we'd rather all just call each other fucking fat cunts on the internet. But you're right, and though. I'm pointing but, but, but out that it's not productive. To, to, between me and you, though, is... I don't want. I don't care if we reach a. Con I'm, my goal on this show is not to reach a consensus. It's not to alter public discord. It's to fucking make fun of people like we do on on uh, po po politicians and whatnot. I'm not. I'm not trying to. This woman's trying to change the world. I never come into the show going. I'm changing the world. Well, no, I know, but we can't. So I'm just making we fun can, of people. We can never have a conversation no, like can. between of, two of, friends of on course, the air. Of course, we can. I, because I, that's I'm, all I was doing. I, I, I was just I, saying, gee, well, you know, what's the fucking motivation by, behind by the these way, things? By the way, though, all I was doing was. See, what you were doing was giving your opinion on something, right? I was, therefore, then giving my opinion on what you said. Yeah, but That's my it. opinions... Oh, yours at, was better. My, no, my opinion at no point involved having to box you in by calling you arrogant, calling you a fucking hypocrite, or any of the other shit I you called me. I said, it sounded, you literally, I said it sounded arrogant, and I said we are both hypocrites. Okay, if I said you sounded like a faggot, would you go, oh, he didn't call me a faggot. Well, if, if, he if, said if, I sounded like if a faggot. I was, if I was literally like saying I want to suck dick, and you say you sound like a faggot, I would go, you're right, I did sound like a faggot. I mean, okay, yeah. but now you're now you're changing something from opinion to fact. No, I because don't. Because well, if I said I was going to suck dick, that sounds gay. Mm -hmm. But you saying I sound arrogant is your opinion. It is my me opinion. saying I want to suck a dick is pretty objectively but it, fucking but gay. In, in my but that, in my opinion, that sounded arrogant. I'm not allowed to have that opinion. It's like I just was trying to like have a conversation, and it was literally like two times now. It's. Oh, well, that sounds pretty... Like, it's this whole thing, like, in front of the audience. I don't know, dude. That sounds kind of arrogant, am I right? No, like, but... This guy it, really but, sounds like but, a No, no, no. And but I'm like... Is that just... Dude, is that really what you think I was doing with that? No, no, no. As... I was giving you... My, my opinion is, is that our... The way I look at it, right, and this and this is, I think, the part where you're mis you're, you're taking it very personally. I'm not trying to personally attack you in any way. I'm saying this. You, the, the stuff you're saying... I, describes our show i mean that's my opinion right it that's what we do i mean how many people have we fucked with how many people have we made fun of how many people have we called cunts how many people have we we've we've done that a lot on this show both of us i'm not I, by the way i am not excluding myself from that i do it too right but my point is is that saying that is like man i, I can think of how many times uh, how many times I've gotten into Twitter fights? How many times you've gotten into Twitter fights? How many times that? Like, I'm telling you that if I was somebody listening to it and I heard something, my, the way, what I would feel, and this isn't me personally, I have nothing against you, you know that, but I was, I was just saying, like, I would feel like, I don't know, man, like, it, it, I guess I guess this is what it is like you know we talk about oh we don't want people to tell us what to do don't tell me what to do don't tell me what to do don't and nobody wants to be told what to do like we just the whole the whole point of the whole COVID thing the reason we're mad and the reason we're upset is because people are trying uh, to to tell us what to do I don't I, I kind of don't want 
people to feel that we're telling them what to do. Oh, at, me, me. At, but at no point, mm. at no point, have I ever told anyone what to do. Mm. Literally, my entire point that I was making was like, we we should think about why we do these things and at least acknowledge that if we're doing them, we're not doing anything productive. And it turned, I will acknowledge and, that. But but you're you you keep taking this other position that you like you're this opposing position to something that opposes something I never said, which is you're taking this position of, oh, so we can't do it? No, I never said anybody can't do whatever the fuck. I'm literally just going, gee, man, why do we do these things? Like, that was that was my entire angle was, why do we do this shit? Just, just despite knowing that it's not, it's not productive. Now, I can answer why we do this show, because it makes us fucking money. It puts money in our pocket. You know what I mean? Like, this is fucking three, four years in. If we weren't making money at this, I'd be back at the fucking titty bars. Like, this is a living for us. So there, there is a reason why we do it on the show. You can go, well, that's arrogant. I don't give a fuck. We make a living. We make a very good living doing this fucking show. You don't make a living going on Twitter and calling some fucking fat bitch with bags under her eyes a cunt on Twitter. Nobody gets anything out of that. I can explain why we do this show because people like to gather in large groups and pay us money to make fun of these assholes. So I can justify it. Like, I can sleep. It's, it's like... It's like you're trying to equate the difference between being a fucking hitman that makes crazy money versus a serial killer that just cuts hookers' heads off in parking lots. And it's like, well, I can explain why the one guy does it because he's fucking taking a sniper rifle, he's killing one guy, and he's getting a quarter of a million. But the guy who's just cutting heads off in parking lots, I can't explain why that guy does what he does. Even when and we, that's like saying, even oh, when, no, you get paid 50 second. grand sorry, as a hitman? That sounds kind of You've yelled at me a lot. Even if when we, we weren't making money for years, we did this making zero dollars, being meaner than we are now, we're actually, what by was the way, the end, guys, What was the goal, though? But the, of course, the goal. I understand the goal was to make money. A lot of people's goal on Twitter is to get retweeted and become famous and maybe make money or maybe just get. My point is, is that the, my point is, is that for, we we did this for a long time, making no money, and we never stopped because we were making no money. And also, I have fun doing this. It's not really kind of just a money thing. I actually enjoy doing this. So I mean, I've always. That's why I did it for so long. We're not making money because this is still a living. Though. I, like it's, I, it's, I maybe you and I see differently. This, no, this fine. is a fun way to make a living. It but don't is be fun. disingenuous and go. I only do this for no, the fun. I, I, you wouldn't, be doing, you wouldn't be doing four who, hours of who, content a day for zero dollars. That's who a lie. That's, put, who that's, the, that's, no, who's putting, that's disingenuous. Sorry, play, I'll play that's the, disingenuous. I, 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 no, I'm not. Who play the tape back now? Who's putting words in my mouth? Did I say I only do it for fun? I say, and I will repeat, I also do it because it's fun is what I said. I didn't say I only do it for fun. But you're, 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 but you're also mm. saying that I'm implying that if we... If we were still making zero dollars at this, you'd, we would still want to be doing this at the sky, at the fucking pace that we do. Maybe we, we you wouldn't. wouldn't be. Maybe I would. You wouldn't be doing four hours a day. That's that's. that's I don't that's, know, man. I really like doing it. I'm not, I understand what you're saying about money, and I, and trust me, I'm very. We're very lucky to make money doing this. Absolutely, I'm not in any way downplaying that or being not appreciative of doing it, but. I do legitimately like doing this. I mean, remember something. Before this, I was doing this for fucking... So were you doing for 12 years making no money because I enjoy doing it. My, my, Yes, of course, I always wanted to do this full job as a job, and I'm very lucky to do this as a job. Absolutely, I am. But I also enjoy doing it. Like, this is what I've wanted to do, you know? And I understand there's a lot harder ways to make money. I get that. But what I'm saying is I also enjoy it. It's uh, my point. I enjoy is, it, too. I know, I'm not saying, but you know. me, but, but the point of this is to make money, to make a living, to pretend it's anything else. But it just is, because but it is, it's but fun, it is. just because it's fun and fulfilling compared to, like, going into a job, sure, that's great. But this is still, like, we went into this, we incorporated early on, and we went in with a certain goal, which is to make a living at this, to make a very good living at this. That's what the, that's what the goal is. Is it nice? Is it fun? Is it fulfilling? Yes. And those are all other great things. But to but to like imply that this is just a hobby and we just do this every day for fun? That's I'm never that's implied that. I know we you make money. Straight up said that this is only this is. Oh, I, I never would do this. said only. I but yes, but uh, Royce Lopez would probably still do this for fun if I was also uh, also able to make money another way. Four because hours I, a day. Yes, yeah, probably. I would probably. I like it. 
But my point is, is that I'm lucky to make money, but I also like it. Dude, there's people that do do things four hours a day that we would that you might not like that other people do for no money because they enjoy it. It happens all the time. There's people that there's people that do plenty of things that you would think are stupid. There's people that fucking knit that I think is retarded and they enjoy doing it. People do things that they that you would think dumb dumb plenty of times. There's people that fucking like making spreadsheets for fucking fun. I know people that do that that make no money doing it and make because they like it. There's people that fucking garden for fun. I would never fucking be caught dead doing it. I understand what you're saying. I am lucky to make money doing it and I am very happy that I am making money doing it. But I also it's not the only for me. I'm only speaking for me. I'm not speaking for you. For me it's not the only thing. You know, it is a part of it. It is a big part of it. Absolutely. But I do enjoy doing my shows. You know how many times I do fucking morning shows and it happens to you. You make no money and you still had a good show. It happens to me. I make like 10 bucks sometimes. And I'm like, I still had fun doing it. But now, but now again, it's where we're, you're arguing a point I didn't argue. To turn my I do this to make a living uh, statement into now implying that I don't enjoy this. I never said you don't enjoy it. But you're, you're saying I know. You, I was speaking I said, about me. When I say I'm doing this to make a living, and you go, "Well, I'm doing it because I enjoy it," That's that is by the implication, kind of implying that I don't enjoy this. Never I love doing this. Never said that. But to, but to pretend that goal number one is not to make a living doing this is a little disingenuous. Goal number one should be to make a living doing this. Having fun doing this goes without saying because we've been doing this a long time, and we decided a long time ago we enjoy doing this. But this is something we do to make a living. Going back to the original point, I make a living making fun of people like this. So to to imply that, to say, like, well, it's arrogant to tell... First of all, people could do whatever they want. I don't tell people not to do it. This whole argument started because I wanted to have a genuine moment and say, okay, we, we did this, we made fun of this, whatever, but is it wrong to just take a moment and go, why do we, why do, we do this? Like, why do we... Same thing as a guy, as I brought up cutting fucking hookers' heads off a parking lot somewhere. Does that guy ever take a moment and go, gee, you know, what, what drives me to do? Why, why do I feel the need to cut hookers' heads off in parking lots? Does, is that implying that he's going to stop? No, of course not. He's going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep making fun of fat whores on Twitter. It, it's never going to stop, but it's not wrong to try to have a, like an actual introspective fucking uh, moment and point something out without kind of getting, uh, you know, shit for it, which is basically what I was getting shit for saying. And instead of, oh, well, you do it too. And I said, yeah, I said in the beginning, I do it too, but why do we do it? And then me saying, why do we do this? It became, oh, so what, people can't do it? No, I never said people. Like, I, I feel like I've been getting the goalposts moved on me the whole time, and I'm just pointing out that what we do, we should at least acknowledge that we do it for the dopamine rush and the retweets, and that's the only reason you do it, and at least fucking say, okay, that, that's why we're doing it, but at least admit that it's not helping anything. That's all. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mexi Man and Cheese, one of my favorite American dad jokes is when Francine becomes a writer. 